called dirty boxing. Yes, in the street, I probably would have got the person. What up, guys? Right. I know I work a lot on moving in, bam, bam, out, and working around your opponents, striking, striking in, striking out. But all the striking in, striking out you do, sometimes, just sometimes, there are some people who have got the knack of closing you down and you just can't ever seem to get away from them. This is what you have to do. When people close you down and you have no option and you're constantly trying to get away and they're constantly closing you down, most of the time when you're constantly fighting backwards, you tend to gas because the pressure is on you. So sometimes you just have to hold your ground and sling leather. But we're not just slinging leather with no technique. We're slinging leather in close proximity with your opponent with technique and you're keeping your guard up at all times. So when people attack you and close you down, now you've got no option but to fight in the pocket or in the phone box. Old school phone box tactics. So what you want to do is you always want to be firing shots and back to your guard, staying in pressure. Back to your guard. So what's happening here is, I'm going to the body, because I'm in close, and then to the head. When you shoot your shots to the body, what happens is, naturally, naturally the natural instinct is to drop the hands to protect the body. That's when you attack the head. When I'm in close, I'm always attacking the body. Even if it's small, little, stupid shots. Just to get him thinking. But I'm still moving my head to avoid his counters. And I right Breath back. Boom. That's how you work an opponent who's constantly closing down. Closing your distance down. There are some bastards out there who do that non-stop, doesn't matter what you hit them with, they're constantly coming, constantly coming. So it's your job to learn how to fight. In close, I'll do it from this angle so you can see how I work my way around the bag. Because I'm in close doesn't mean I'm no longer moving and I'm just planting my feet into one position. I'm still moving around and I'm still getting my head movement going to make sure he can't counter me. Or even if he does attempt to counter me, my guard is always up and I'm peppering the body and moving around and then going to the head. Watch this. Your opponent says, close you down. You want to pepper the body, plus, 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 and then go to the head. Even if it's small dab shots, but you still, I'm still moving, see? I'm still moving around my opponent. Shut up! And then I'm peppering the body to hopefully get him to drop his hands. And when he drops his hands, he goes to the top. Yes, my in close. But I'm bullying him. I'm bullying him. I'll throw some slight elbows to his face. Push him back, back, back. Push him. Push him back. He's trying to bully you. It's when they try and close the distance like that, what all they're trying to do is bully you. Bully them back. Push them back. Shoulder into their head. Shoulder into the head. Shoulder into their face. Shoulder into the chin. Elbows across their face. Push them away. Strike. Then throw my shots. I'll push him away. <laughs> Little forearm pushes. <laughs> when you pepper the body, eventually the hands will drop. And that's when you're count counting on your strikes getting to the head. Bow bow to the body. Head. Bow bow to the body. Inevitably, his arms are going to drop at some point, And then you're going to catch him. Another little thing. Now, when you do throw body shots, you don't always have to throw hooks to the head. What you can do, like I said earlier, is you can post on your opponent's face, pushing back with your elbow, forearm, creating that little bit of space, and fire your back, and pop, pop it back up. Push, back, and fire back. He's naturally gonna want, if he's someone who closes distance all the time, he's naturally gonna constantly be on you. That's what he's gonna wanna do. So you make those things awkward, use your forehead. Push his forehead up, and away, and back. This is called dirty boxing. It's allowed in MMA. It's allowed in street fighting. You're pushing. You're not head the person. 
Yes, in the street, I probably would head for a person. But in an MMA fight, what you're doing is you're fighting for position with the head, get under the chin, push the chin up with your head, push away, and get back in, close up, and throw little, nice little uppercuts, just bringing them up there. See where I'm coming? Straight up. Watch my leg work. I dip down, and I fire up. Body, body, body. Tip that, fire up. Most of the time your opponent is gonna have his guard like that anyway. That's the position your opponent's guard is gonna be and if he's trying to bully you. So when you throw the body shots, you come up through the middle. Body, 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 up the middle. So look at that. I'm throwing uppercuts up through the middle. Watch this. Forearm, forearm. If it's an MMA, you can throw a four. Elbow. Elbows up the middle. Dirty boxing. Pull the head down. Grab your opponent's head. Pull his head down in that position and fire your shots. So you're holding his head like a ball and firing your shots. Keep it dirty. Keep moving. Juxtaposition. Move his arms around. Pull his arm down. Fire your shots. Arm down. Fire, put it down, down, fire, put it down, fire. Try that guys.